Hey guys, it's Speedy Fitz here, bringing you another Pokemon Go video. Um, just so you guys know, I will be making videos throughout my entire break, which goes into Monday and Tuesday of next week. But after break, so on that Wednesday to, um, so from the Wednesday I go back to April break, there will be videos once a week. So not every day, but once a week. This guy could be Ditto right here. And he would be a pretty strong Ditto. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna great ball him because I haven't caught a Ditto in around a month and a half, two months. And it's getting me kind of angry. So this guy's definitely Ditto. Um, well, he's not definitely Ditto, but he would be a pretty strong Ditto, all things considered. Um, so, yeah, so videos weekly, but not every day, not daily. Um, is this guy Ditto? I don't think so. Dang it. I don't know why, I haven't caught a single Ditto in so long, but Ditto is still in the game. Um, that is for sure. Um, but, uh, I just haven't caught him in a long time. Okay, so I have some good news and some bad news about just me, not... Well, actually, no, it affects you guys too. I made a video called Epic Tracking System, um, and that tracking system has been shut down by Niant Niantic, Niantic, um, and I was watching a video by um, Jono Plays COC. shout out to Jono, he makes great videos. Um, but it was just a video explaining how it got shut down, um, and apparently, from what I read and listened to on the video, um, they were using the Pokemon Go Niantic servers, um, and that's where they were getting all the data, and Niantic didn't like that, because it, I, from what I heard, they were doing it without permission, I'm not sure if that's true or not, that's just what I read, that's my only source, so don't quote me on this, um, so that's just how I think it is. So that tracking system no longer works. I'll show you why momentarily. But um, the good news that is for my account. Um, first thing, there was a Remoraid at a Pokestop that was just out of reach um, of me. And an Arbok spawned. Because I don't have a Remoraid in my Pokedex yet. I don't know why. I have two Octillery or something. Um, but I don't have a Remoraid. So, I was trying to get to the Pokestop. It was freezing out. I really couldn't do it. And an Arbok spawned. Um, but it was it was too far away from the Pokestop for it to show up on the sightings. But it was close enough to me. And this is my best CP Arbok. And let's look at um, its IVs. So, they're wonderful. HP, defense are perfect. So, I think this is 97 IV. Um, I'm not sure. Hey, that's funny. Its HP is 97. Um... And this dude will destroy Psychic-type Pokemon. That includes Executors, um, all of that, because Bite and Sludge Wave are both super effective against Psychic. That's why I named it One Psychic. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm working on my Machop candies. I currently have 133, but I just don't have a good Machop. So I'm waiting until I get a good Machop to get my Machamp, but don't have one yet. I caught my first Fan P today, which is pretty sweet. I saw one on the nearby list. Um, a few days ago, but it was in, like, the middle of, like, a girl's camp, and it would have been really awkward, because they were, like, seven or eight years old, and, um, some guy comes walking along playing Pokemon Go in the middle of it. Um, then I have this super big, uh, swine up here for 528 TP, and super funny story, I was trying to catch a swine up, swine up earlier today, um, and you know how, like, when it dodges, and you... When you're unable to hit it, it will, like, run towards you, then run away and do, like, a horseshoe and then come back. So I threw it. It started doing that. It bounced on the swine up three times. It never hit the ground. It just kept bouncing up and down. And finally, after it finished that, it bounced up and then it hit it again, and I caught it. So that is absolutely insane. It never hit the ground, but it the first time it hit it, it didn't catch it. So pretty crazy uh, catch there. Um, my sister caught a Wobbuffet for 750 CP. She got a great throw with a Great Ball and a Raspberry. It has a counter and mirror coat. Um, so that's pretty cool, and it's a male. This is really what I wanted. I wanted a male, strong Wobbuffet, and she got me one, which is pretty sweet. She's five, so given the fact that she can throw a Great Ball with a Great Toss better than me, it's kind of sad, but um, I I'm working on my consistency. 
But this wall effect with 279 HP, 750 CP, and counter and mirror coat is a pretty big beast. Then his IVs are wonderful with HP that is perfect. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I caught my party hat Pikachu, which is great. Will it show up? There we go. Party hat Pikachu. Um, we got two Bayleafs in the same day. And this one was the register to the Pokedex, so March 2nd. Then this bay leaf also marked second, but um, that's pretty cool. Actually, when I, this one was caught a few minutes after a very exciting adrenaline rushing experience that was pretty dangerous. Um, there are a ton of trees in my neighborhood, but some of them, the branches, like here, I'll show you on Turtwig. Uh, Turtwig? Why did I call him Turtwig? Um, Pseudo Budo. Um, so imagine if he had branches lower down, like towards his leg. Please don't have any dirty thoughts here i'm just trying to make an analogy um it would be easier to get onto the tree but um the neighborhood has had the lower branches cut down so it's really hard to get on the majority of trees um so what i did is the lowest branch closest to the ground was at least 10 15 feet above me so i got some rope i doubled it i threw um one of the ends over and i basically pulled my entire body weight up and then when i got in the tree i realized that i wasn't going to be able to get down via the rope so it was pretty sketchy guys and it was uh cold out like it was like 15 10 10 15 degrees when i was playing pokemon go today absolutely freezing but anyway back to the story yesterday it was warmer but um it was still pretty cold out i didn't know how i was going to get down i kind of wanted to show my dad because it was pretty cool um, but some of the natives are giving me odd looks. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just going to get down now. So, um, I ended up, uh, getting on one of the branches upside down. So my back, if I were to fall, it would hit the ground. And my head was facing away from the tree, but facing the sky. So, um, I'm not perfectly upside down, but I'm, I'm looking at the sky and my head is further from the tree than my feet are. So, I'm just literally climbing down the lowest branch. Um, imagine if Pseudo Wudo, instead of, do you see how his arm curves up? Imagine if it curved down. So, I was climbing down on that. Um, and then I jumped off, felt really accomplished. And uh, then I saw the bay leaf, so I went to go catch it. Um, I caught the super good, oh, this isn't a good Skarmory. Um, my good Skarmory. I don't even know where my good Skarmory I caught a really good CP Rhyhorn, but unfortunately its IVs are not as good as the other one I have that has um, a defense score of 1314 and its IVs are wonderful, 82. Um, we have now enough Cyndaquil candies to get our... Oh boy, I'm spacing. Um, what evolves from Cyndaquil? Think, Luke. Think... I believe that it is called Quilava. Yes, Quilava. And then that evolves into Typhlosion. Yeah, so Quilava to Typhlosion. So I could get my Quilava now. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, of course. But actually, if this guy has really good IVs, I might do it. Nope. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I caught uh, the Rhyhorn. Um... I caught a bee. Uh, you, you guys have hopefully seen the other video where I caught the hound. Well, I didn't show you me catching the houndoom. I just showed a reflection of the day where I got the larvitar, the togepi, and the houndoom, and the lady on, and the dunsparce all in one day. Um, that's pretty cool. Now, guys, for the worst news ever, something terrible happened last night. I was about to sit down to eat dinner, but what showed up on my nearby? Let me show you. I took screenshots the entire time, so I'll just show you those. But, um, where is it? Uh, hold on. It has trouble loading sometimes. I'm just gonna try to guess which one it is. Oh boy, my phone's not responding. <gasps> I'm gonna have to restart Pokemon, guys. I'll just show you the pictures. That probably makes the most mixed. I've been pronouncing- Oh, yeah, I got a sunstone today. From some random Pokestop. Um, okay. First of all, this is not Feral Park. 
Harold Park is an actual park, and this is the previous Pokestop. I don't know why it didn't change, but it...